here. This is Fred, FR5ED. Here with the beer review. My battery's almost dead. Got to do this pretty quickly. I am looking at and going to taste Anderson Valley Hilch Double or Imperial IPA. It's 8.7% uh, on rate beer. It rated a 92 out of 100 overall and only 49 out of 100 in style. Um, so we'll have to see what we think of this. I didn't check it on Beer Advocate. Didn't have a chance. The only bottle opener I have here is my Reef Sandal. Huh, no dog poop, so we'll open it. Alright, I'll find that later. I'm out here in the garage uh, roasting some coffee. That's what that is going on in the background there. It's actually going through a cleaning cycle, and then I'll be roasting several pounds of coffee. Okay, here we go. It's pouring a dark golden, light, light orange color. Got about one finger of a medium dense head on it. Hard to tell the color in, in this light on this camera, but decent carbonation. It's mostly a, that's dense with some medium and large bubbles, so the head's kind of a varied, it's a mix of density. Hmm, okay, I'm getting for double IPA, I'm not getting overwhelmed with the hop aroma, you know, but let's swirl it around and give it another try. I am getting the melon, you know, litchy nut, uh, uh, soft citrus. Problem is, I think I'm smelling some of the, the residue of the coffee there. Let me move away from there. I'll be back. <laughs> Yeah, that was better. I could smell it a little more clearly. Yeah, so not being bowled over by all the hop aromas, but they're good. They're nice. They're soft. A um, little bit of the grass, but it's mostly the, the melon, you know, lychee, and some citrus. So let's give it a taste. Plenty of hot bitterness there. Um, it didn't give the IBUs. I don't know if the bottle has it or not. Oh, don't see any IBUs, but it does say, a little commercial description here, a color of polished brass with copper tints and wavy, dense tan head. I don't, I don't think I used any of those words, wavy, dense, or tan. Anyway. Aromas of California citrus. Hey, you got the citrus. Aromatic biscuits. I almost said something about bready, but hey. Um, with hints of fresh redwood needles. Didn't get that. Uh, an assertive hop bitterness is delivered to your palate. And it's, I think, sorry about that. I think um, Chinook, Cascade, and there's three sea hops that were used. Chinook, Cascade, and Columbus, I believe. So anyway, let me give it another taste now that I've backtracked. The, the most forefront experience is the bitterness. I'm, I'm not fond of that. I like hot bitterness, but when it's balanced with, you know, the malt and some sweetness, perhaps... Um, and, and, and definitely hop taste, but when it's the bitterness, then the hop taste and the rest of it, ignore that. Then, uh, hmm, I, let me, let me give it another chance here, but boy, a lot of residual bitterness in there. Hmm. I'm sure if it warms up a little more, I'll get a little more flavor out of it, but I'm not getting a lot right now. It's pretty dry, not getting any kind of residual sweetness, not getting a lot of flavors uh, jumping out. This is a double IPA. I would expect expect more complex flavors and more pronounced flavors. Maybe I'm not being fair because it's still probably in the, I'm going to guess, upper 40s now. And it really should be in the 50s to, to really give it a chance to expand all of its tastes. One more try, and we'll wrap this up.
Okay, even just that little bit of time warming it up, I do start to get some, uh, you know, some bready, citrusy um, notes there in the flavor. So it does start to balance a little back away from just hot bitterness. This may be the sort of, of uh, you know, the sort of brew that you definitely got to bring it almost up to room temperature to, to get a more balanced experience. Even at that, I'm not that impressed. Oh well, um, that is Anderson Valley Hilch O'Hops. Uh, and it's a double IPA, but uh, it, it didn't ring my bell, you know, as far as, a, as far as an IPA that grabbed my attention. So anyway, this is Fred, FR5ED, over and